Hello and welcome to the OrganizedPictures.com video series and in this video I will introduce to you the system that I use for organizing over a hundred thousand digital pictures and videos. I call the system STORE and it's an acronym that stands for S for shoot and scan photos, T for transfer photos, O for organized photos, R for retrieving photos, and E for exporting photos. And I do believe that over the more than 10 years that I spend, you know, developing the system, that the store system is the simplest and most efficient system for organizing your digital media. So let's start with an overview of the system so that you understand um, how it comes together, why is it simple, and efficient and also comprehensive. So store is simple to remember, right? I mean, you just remember the acronym. And it has a simple goal to provide a simple and efficient system for organizing your digital media that is independent of any particular software program. Yes, you should use helpful software like Lightroom, XNView, FastStone, but you should not depend on it. Your system should not depend on the software that you use. This means that once you organize your photos, you can use any software in any operating system to view and organize your photos. And believe me, things change in this industry and they have changed for years. And programs come and go, computer systems come and go, but your data, your photos should be uh, safe so you could start using any software that you need to. We talked about the acronym STORE, stands for shoot and scan, transfer, organize, retrieve, and export photos. And it is comprehensive. It covers all aspects of photo management from beginning to end. From shooting and scanning photos all the way to backing up and editing and exporting and sharing your photos online. It's a simple process for transferring your digital photos and videos to your computer and keeping them organized. And it also contains a simple process for creating and storing efficient metadata in the right places at the right time. This way you can organize and find your photos and videos when you need to and when you have time. You always know where you are in your organization process. So store is simple to remember. Store also has a simple foundation. In order to classify, organize, and manage items, in any large media library, you have to create information about each item in your library. This information about your items is called metadata. It's data about data. The store system uses two places for storing this metadata. On the one hand, there are folders with efficient folder names and structures, which are key to easy retrieval, and also inside the image files, recording metadata inside each image file which makes the metadata, the data about your images, makes it portable. It can transfer from software to software. So there are two places for storing this metadata, folders and image files. And many people these days, they, they ignore folders and they get all excited about the metadata. But they forget the folders, but they're very, very important as well. Both of them, very, very important. And there are also three main categories of metadata that um, are needed. There are events like birthdays, day trips, road trips, school plays, and this is what our lives is made of, of events. And it's made of people as well, your family, your friends. And this has to do with face recognition, with certain technology that it's available to be able to identify people in pictures, in your photos. And places, your home, the park next door, or a travel destination. These three categories help you find photos when you need to. It's very easy to find photos, you know, like a day after you take them. But what about a month after, or a year after, or 10 years after? It's very difficult, becomes very difficult to uh, find them. But having two places for storing metadata folders and image files and then having three categories of metadata events people and places makes it very easy to find your pictures when you need to so on the one hand your cameras whether it's your phone or your digital camera or your tablet your cameras create part of the metadata while you must create the rest and we'll talk about these in the uh, in the next videos 
You, and you need to store this metadata both in folder names and inside the image files in order to become independent of any particular software. In addition, your metadata is completely portable, meaning that it travels along with your pictures. And it is compatible with other software. So the last slide for this video is a picture view of this um, system that I'm talking about. So store is simple to see. Simple to remember, simple to use, and it's simple to see. And let me explain this kind of this pyramid a little bit, right? So this is store. That stands for shoot in, scan photos, transfer photos, organize photos, retrieve photos, and export photos. But you see that they are like layers. They build on each other. Um, obviously, we start with creating these photos, these digital photos, digital images. And that's the bottom layer, is the shoot and scan photos. This is when we shoot pictures with a phone or with a camera or with a tablet or when we scan older pictures that are printed, right? We create digital images. This is the creation uh, phase. And each of these phases, each of these layers, they have specific things that are associated with them. And we'll cover them in the videos that come. But the first layer is shoot and scan photos. And you will learn how to, there are certain things to do on your camera. And there's also certain things to do when you scan uh, photos, when you gather your photos, when you uh, look for metadata, handwritten metadata in your photos when you're ready to scan. The next layer is transfer photos. Once we created the photos with our cameras or with uh, scanning them, we need to be able to transfer them onto the computer, onto the main computer that, uh, that we have for, for our library. And again, there's some specific things about transferring photos. And then once we transfer them to the computer, we need to organize them. And there are certain things for organizing uh, the photos. And then we need to be able to retrieve them, to be able to look for them, to find them for various projects. And these projects are under exporting photos. We could edit them. We could share them. We also need to back them up. We also can create photo books. But in order to be able to create all these fun projects and find our pictures and, and create, you know, photo books and posters and uh, postcards and everything like that, we need to be able to have everything underneath, right? Being able to use our photos and enjoy them and uh, remember all the memories that are associated with will make us enjoy our photos and our videos. But if all the layers are, are not correctly done underneath, we wouldn't be able to do that. Because if I didn't organize them, if I didn't transfer them properly, if I didn't organize them, then I can't find them. And if I can't find them, I can't create any fun projects. Um, so this is the store uh, method, the store system that um, I will go in depth with in the next uh, videos. So thank you for watching this video. And you could also find a lot of information on my website, organizedpictures.com. There are lots of uh, free tutorials. But I also have books and I have uh, courses that would help you to get into it and go step by step from um, not having control over or over your media library to having complete control and being able to actually enjoy your photos.